Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Vets07, and today I'm going to show you guys how to destroy all three raids, starting with first C. Um, just pretend like I have Unawakened Quake. Um, also, I will be using swords from each C. Uh, we are going to be using Quake Spear because it is the best for uh, first C. So essentially, uh, Quake does buff Quake Spear, so this is a good combo. So Quake Spear does good damage and is also very easy to get, um, and it also gets buffed by Quake. So you want to use Quake and Quake Spear. The reason why is because Quake Spear and Quake both have really good AOE, good damage, and really good cooldowns, and also stun, as you guys can see. They're being sat down. And then on top of that, you have wave, you know, waves that actually can, can wipe the wave. Uh, and then, yeah, it does really, really good damage. Um, Unawaken and Awaken are both really, really good. Now, the thing with um, Unawakened Quake is that the second and third ability are actually stronger than Awakened, um, but they have less AoE and also come out a little slower. But they are a little bit stronger. Um, and then, of course, it's just the AoE, man, and the, the low cooldowns. Everything about Quake is just so strong. And you can easily destroy uh, easy raid and even, honestly, even hard raids. You could do any raid in the game with Quake, Unawakened, and it does so much damage. Look at this boss. Already a quarter off, and then you can go ahead and spam all your cooldowns. And then, of course... He's already deleted, and then we have really, really fast cooldowns, and he's already dead. So that was the first boss, boss on wave 11, um, and we deleted him. So this, you're basically going to be deleting every single boss with um, Unawakened Quake and Quake Spear for C1. Now, I do recommend not really grinding raids, but uh, if you were curious on how to do it, then this is how. And uh, it's very, very easy, very good. Stuns, low cooldowns, really good damage, and also Quake Spear does get buffed um, by Quake. So, free win. I also want to say that Gravity Unawakened is also really good. Um, now, the thing that makes it super good, just pretend like I have Unawakened really quick, but Meteor Rain, you go Meteor Rain into Pressure, and I'll show you what that looks like right now. So, these guys are pretty, one of them is full HP. So, you use Meteor Rain, you stun them with the first ability, and then all these meteors just fall on their head and do tons of tons of damage. And of course, so the, the basically the combo, Meteor Rain, stun them with this ability, right, the first ability, and then call down your Meteorite, and it does a ton of damage. Also, Snow is another really good one. Just pretend like I have uh, Unawakened, but Snow is really good because all the abilities do decent damage. Um, and also, Blizzard Zone is like Waves, but just worse. Um, Blizzard Zone hits the entire arena and does really good damage. Like Waves, um, but it's just a little worse. Also, pretend like I have uh, an, an Unawakened. Unawakened is, I believe, a little stronger than Awakened. Um, so yeah, you can basically Wave Clear with Blizzard Zone. So honorable mentions is Dragon. Uh, Dragon just got a rework recently and is very, very strong. It is one of the strongest suits in the game on Awakened, but it is kind of expensive, so I don't really expect a lot of people to get it, honestly. But if you can, it is quite strong and uh, it's very, very sick as well. Also, I need to zoom my camera out, but uh, hey guys, it's me, Shenron, and today... Alright, anyways. So yeah, basically, same sword for all these builds as well. And um, Dragon is just really, really good. Next fruit is also Rumble, and Rumble is insanely good for um, pretty much any raid. It has good DPS, good multi-hit to keep them stunned, and also has decent cooldowns, and just good damage overall. It's just a really good fruit all around on Awaken. It's easy to get. So Rumble, Quake, Snow, Dragon. Those are pretty much the best fruits you can get in first C um, without Awakening. Next up is Normal Raid. Now, I am going to recommend Enma. Um, it's very easy to get and just a overall good sword. Um, and now in terms of fruits, which is what you're here for... Uh, if you can get your hands on Dofi too, I, uh, it's very expensive, but if you can, you can easily wave clear, and this is why. Group absolutely everything up, also your teammates can damage them while this is happening. And then also you could just stun them with this, you know, and then you have all good DPS, everything else. Like, it's just a really, really good fruit for normal raids, um, and it's just built perfect for it. Also, Enma has good AoE and also, like, mid-range, um, so it is very good in terms of that. Like I said, it also has a retarded stun, as you guys can see splooge all over their face and then they can move after a while um and then also like i said just group them all up with this uh broken ability for raids and yeah it also does good damage and is like a good support fruit and it's really good also i do want to mention all the other fruits i did mention before v2 are pretty good for this um snow v2 has a lot of aoe and just decent damage Sn uh, quake v2 is probably going to be one of your best bets as well um and then also uh rumble's really good dragon is all right in here i wouldn't really recommend um dragon in here but it's still okay. But a good strategy that I like to use back in the day. Now, this is kind of hard if you don't have the right armor. But if you jump up in the air just a little bit. Let me just hold one of these abilities. So, they all group up under you. And then, essentially, you can hop down and just spam every single ability on their face. And Venom has an extremely high DPS. Um, or burst damage, in fact. And DPS. Um, so, you can just leave everything. And then, it also has a move with a decent AoE as well. Um, as you guys can see here. It also does really good damage. Also, here is a boss. So, we're going to just go ahead and delete him out of the game really quick. Um, and then 
Yeah, so bye bye boss. So we just did a bunch of damage right there because Venom is very OP. This is very, Venom V2, by the way. You want to unawaken the first two abilities. I do have a video on what to unawaken if you guys are curious on that. But um, yeah, Venom V2 is very, very cheap and um, it just has a ton of DPS and can also help you clear really, really fast. Now this is where you start to unlock V2s like I said earlier, so you can actually use Gravity V2. Now you do want to unawaken Meteor Rain, but it has a good stun and also has good AoE with a um, you know Meteorite on a good cooldown that can do some pretty good damage. Um, so yeah, Gravity is very, very good and hard rate as well. And probably one of the best fruits for it right now, other than Quake, I do think Quake is the best normal rate as well. Uh, Magma. Magma has some of the highest DPS in the game and also good AoE. Um, so you can pretty much delete everything in the game with this. Like I said earlier, you basically want to jump up, group them up, and then, um, you know, you can kill them really, really quick with this. It's really, really good. Um, and just, you can basically delete normal raids with this. And I am glazing Quake, so I do want to show you the true power of Quake really quick. Um, just because I'm, I am glazing it pretty hard. But this is essentially what it looks like. Um, you just, you just can go pretty much anywhere on the map and stun them all. And delete the entire wave. And then once you, you know delete the entire wave, you can go ahead and jump up. Also, do remind you, I, I am not using a very strong sword. It's a decent sword, but it's not like, that strong. Um, and now imagine if I was using a meta sword or just something like broken on top of Quake. Now this is just straight Quake. Now this is uh, waves on wave 9. Now back in the day, old waves would one shot until wave 8. But let's see how much they could do nowadays. Okay, I was uh, I, I was somewhat right. They could still almost one shot, but they need a little bit more damage, um, like they did back in the day. And they could probably one shot. It was like a wave eight or something like that that they could basically one shot. But essentially, you would jump up, use your waves, come come back down after everything's pretty much dead, and finish off the bosses or whatever's left. It basically kill most of it. But let's go ahead and see how much damage we could do to the boss. So here come the waves. So we're gonna go ahead and spam every single ability here, and the boss is already pretty much one shot and then we can just go ahead and spam our very fast cooldowns and also it has very good aoe with stun so yeah this is definitely a broken ability also um you can use quiver the world um maybe if you are alone but it does send everything up which is kind of annoying for your teammates so i really wouldn't really recommend using it for that but you could um also just one more time to show you guys how op this really is also these guys are very tanky as you guys can see so let's go let's go ahead and see how much we could do with two combos there we go still kind of have a little bit extra hp and there we go free win um yeah so quake is insanely good for this you i recommend quake rumble gravity venom any of those magma oh they're all very very strong now time for hard raid probably a lot of people are waiting for this now one of the best swords in the game that's kind of easy to get somewhat is actually bone scythe the only problem with bone scythe is it does keep you steel which is a, a, a kind of unfortunate most of the moves you know just sit there for like five seconds but it does do a lot of damage so that is, that is the risk with it, but it is strong. Um, now, the best swords in the game, if you're, you know, if you're rich or put a lot of time into the game, is Phoenix Blade V2 and Acro Spear. They're very, very, very strong. So go ahead and use those. Also, Acro Spear does heal you if you're struggling with living. Uh, Acro Spear is very, very good. So I do have a video on how to get Bloodborne Twins. It's very, very easy. All you need is Enma, which is a, like, 50% drop sword. And then you need a 20% drop sword, Ethereal, um, which is on the second island and third sea. It's a monkey that spawns every hour or so. And you can get these beautiful swords. They do a lot of damage, good cooldowns. Very, very easy to get. So I'm just going to follow the trend by using easy swords to get in each sea. And it's going to be Bloodborne Twins. Now, this sword is very, very strong. I recommend getting it for just in general. So it turns out Quake is a really good DPS fruit. Um, it's like 495 gems, so it's on the cheap. It's on the cheaper side, ish, kinda. Um, but yeah, it does a lot of damage with Blood Moon Twins, which is a somewhat easy sword to get. Full combo, you're doing 96,000 damage with short cooldowns on both of the fruits and swords, so it is a good combination um, and easy to get. Um, awakening shouldn't be an issue, honestly, if you're in third C. You should probably already have a few awakenings, maybe if you're in third C. Um, so I, I'm just gonna assume you have them. If you don't have them, Rumble, Quake, and Awakened, um, Dragon are all pretty good for this. But I'm just gonna assume you have Awakening. So Quake is definitely one of the best for its four hard raid. Um, and essentially you want to spam, um, and spam, and spam, and spam. That's all Quake is, is you just spam the hell out of your buttons. Do not use the last, uh, ability, Quiver the World, or End. It is very bad. Another really good fruit for just DPS is also Venom. Now, look at the burst damage on Venom. You can essentially just get all your moves off pretty dang quick as well. And then on top of that, you also have your sword. And this is how much damage it did in just one combo. And we have already our cooldowns back. So, yeah. Uh, Venom is very, very insane with this combo. Or just in general, honestly. Uh, we're to unawaken the first two abilities, and you could do some crazy damage with this combo. Uh, you, as you guys are going to see, I'm already up to 250k. So, yeah, this does a lot, a lot of damage. 
Now here's one that a lot of people probably don't know too much about, but if you use, um, you know, OPOP V2 and Coro V2, it actually has some special M1s which are very, very strong. Um, as you guys can see, they do 7k a tick, um, and a full combo with M1s do like 40k, which is insane. So you can essentially spam your fruit. Here's the full combo with the fruit and sword. So yeah, you want to spam everything. Don't use the last move on your uh, Coro V2, or excuse me, your... OPV2, it's not very good, and you can just do a ton of damage. Also, this has such short cooldowns, um, and also, so, same with Coro V2, you're always spamming. If you have, like, an auto-clicker um, to spam the M1s as well, that'd help out a lot. But yeah, this is definitely one of the best swords in the entire game. Um, or just fruits in general, just combo is just insane. You do need OPV2, uh, though, just remember that, because the M1s do kind of carry it, because they're so strong. Now, Magma V2 is also very, very good for DPS. It has very short cooldowns, and also you do want to unawaken the second ability. As you guys can see, um, the, just the first two abilities alone, which have the shortest cooldowns, do 42,000 damage. Um, and then the unawaken compared with, you know, just it just all is so OP on this fruit. It's just such such a good fruit in general. I do recommend it, and uh, it just you'll basically melt anything in the entire game. Even Ice V2 is decent for this. I wouldn't really recommend it too much, but if you could like jump ahead, like jump over and then like hit the 40k on that move, it can go quite crazy. Um, also, Ice does stun the boss, which is quite nice. But yeah, Ice Ice is just an overall decent pick. It's like more like it's just a good all around fruit, but just not better than the ones I already mentioned. But if you have it unawakened, then uh, you know that's pretty good. Also, I will try to hit the 40k right here. I'll try to time it. And I think I missed. Also, I want to say Buddha isn't really good for this, um, just because it, he he goes through the damage reduction. So Buddha's entire thing is you get a bunch of damage reduction from the uh, ability. So you guys can see my force bars going up. And now once you I, you get the force bar all the way full, you look bottom left and you guys see a emblem. It's and the balls also go around me. I have damage reduction, but for some reason he can just take it from me. And now I don't think the first boss does it, but every single boss after this will just take that from you and essentially make it where you're killable. Now, if Buddha actually worked correctly, I think this would be one of the best fruits in the entire game for raids or just anything in general. But unfortunately, the other bosses in the raid actually take uh, take it from you. And also, this does have pretty decent M1s. All about, all, everything about Buddha is just decent, um, except that it, they just take the, the damage reduction away from you. It's so annoying. They need to fix it because it literally, literally makes Buddha useless in here. Okay, so the strongest sword versus, um, you know, just just one combo. So essentially one move, every single move versus the boss. Um, let's go ahead and see how much damage we can do. So we're going to go ahead and use this ability, this ability, this ability, this ability. Wait for all those to fall down. And then we'll go ahead and start using this. Okay, he's getting hit up. It's kind of, and it made me miss a few times. But essentially one combo, we did 200,000 damage. And of course we have our cooldowns back already. But yeah, this is a very, very strong call like combo and just in general um all the fruits i've already mentioned plus phoenix play v2 you can melt anything in the game hope you guys enjoyed this video and i uh, hope it helps out a lot of people if you have any questions go ahead and leave them down below um i have a bunch of videos on a bunch of random stuff on this update so if you have any questions i've already already answered it in a video um so just please like and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one